as a pledge for a flag and an anthem for our country too. But what we all need is a universal prayer for one love for me and you. Why do we wait for tragedy to unite us? Then we march, take a stand, and cry out for peace to guide us. Why don't we all let love bind us? And then we will all live the way we were meant to be. When did we become a world of only myself, I, and me? Loving our treasures more than allowing man to be free. How did we become so blind? We can't see that together we can all live in peace and harmony. We behave as if we are better than another, as if race, religion, and status makes one grand. But we all have the same plight amongst us. Earth and death are what unites us. We need one song, one prayer, one voice, one love. We need love. As we begin on today, let us begin with prayer. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you for all of your wonderful blessings. Thank you for guiding us and protecting us. Thank you for blessing all that we say and do, letting the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. We love you and we thank you for letting something that we say or do on today be a blessing to someone. Bless our guest, the Honorable Mayor Kelly Garrett, and also bless our uh, my co-host my, and bless all that I do and say. I just thank you in Jesus' name for going before us and letting us be a, uh, inspire others to trust you, to help them to live their dreams, visions, and walk in their purpose. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And blessed is the man or woman that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law, does he meditate day and night? And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he or she does, hallelujah, it shall prosper. At this time, we will have a meditation from the late Pastor G.W. Raspberry because God knew even then, over 25 years ago, God knew that we needed this for such a time as this. And our omnipresent God, present then, prepared it. And we thank you as we prepare and set our minds on God. Let us meditate. We meditate God's word. And as we meditate God's word, the spirit of God merges with our spirit. And we are united. And the Holy Spirit empowers us to Fill ourselves with the power of God. We are children of God. And by the Spirit we are united. And by the Spirit we come together. And by the Spirit we are led. And by the Spirit we obey and go into places and situations 
that are only spirit. Come go with me and find the greater self. God in me, God in you is greater than that which is in the world. God in you, God in me empowers us to feel the greatest magnitude of being that is possible. The greatest potential of self is before us. The greatest power possessed by man possessed of God, given to man, is within us. The greatest power is at work. The greatest force in all the world. So great that no power in the world can move against it. God is greatest force, the magnetic power that binds and holds a universe together. The universe within me is at work to do all that I desire. All that is within me is one with God. All that is within me is empowered to be and to do the will of God. And as I do the will of God, I am so blessed by Him that I said, thank you, Father. Welcome to the First Lady Show. I am your host, Valerie Raspberry, and I have with me my beautiful co-host, Banana Bay Mayberry, God bless you. We love you and welcome to the show. What a wonderful, wonderful day in the neighborhood. We love you and thank you and welcome to our guest. Yay! <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and on today, we have a very special guest with us today. We have the Honorable Michael <laughs> Kelly Garrett, Mayor yes. of the beautiful city of Lathrop Village in Michigan. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I... It is certainly our pleasure. And yes. on this beautiful day I, here in Michigan, we, we just had a, the storm of a lifetime. <laughs> it, it was, <laughs> oh my goodness. We were underneath the snow and until yes. this morning. Welcome and thank you for joining us on today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Now, you are the first African-American mayor in the city of Lather Village. Yes, ma'am, I am. Uh, I was uh, elected in uh, November of 2017. Um, the previous mayor was in place uh, for about 20 plus years. And um, I, I guess it's just my peers at that time just decided that it was time for them or time for our city just to go into a, a new direction. Excellent. And, and, and actually, you know, that's what happens. It's time for change. And what sometimes we have to be the change that we want to happen, right? Absolutely. And, and that's sort of what we're kind of talking about today and during this Black History Month in which 
I, I believe in this 2022, we are making so many things new. And there are just new opportunities, um, uh, just breaking new ground. The city of Latham Village, I know there are a number of wonderful things that are going on. Can you tell us about some of some of the um, um, the great features of, of Lather Village? The one thing I like about uh, Lather Village and, and what attracted me to move here from uh, when I was younger, um, number one, I was brought up in the area um, many, many years ago. I'll just leave it at that. And I used to want to move over to uh, Lather because of our housing stock that it's here. I mean, the houses are solidly built. They're, you know, you get a good, good amount of square footage, money. Um, and so that's the first thing that attracted me. But then also the programs that we do have in Lather Village keeps us as a community. For example, like when we are we currently, we just opened up a community garden and this community garden is where you can buy an actual plot and you can grow whatever you want to grow on your plot. Decided to also open up a dog park, um, which is a membership based uh, dog park. Uh, I thought that that was very exciting because one thing about Lather Village, we are walkers and we are walkers with our uh, dogs. Some other things is that we do have a parks and rec uh, department. It's interesting because you're catching us at a time when we have major turnover. I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible. So our staff is uh, limited. So we are trying to right size the ship now. And so our programs like Breakfast with the Bunny, which has been an annual tradition is still gonna go on. Um, this past year, past Christmas, we did uh, Breakfast with Santa. Um, but it's unfortunately between the staffing shortage and also with COVID, all of our programs have to be revamped to try to make sure that everyone is safe, you know, not just our residents, but anyone else that uh, comes to our, uh, to our community. This past uh, summer, we did a backpack uh, giveaway, which was absolutely fun because we also had Oakland County there and they brought their climbing wall and believe it or not, I am a mayor that gets involved. I don't just sit back and watch what everybody else is doing. There are some pictures floating around somewhere with me doing the uh, rock climbing, but I wasn't successful to the top, but nonetheless. <laughs> but like I was saying, it's a community-based uh, city. We just have, um, we have a new business opened up, uh, which is called Ruby Lee's, and it's a, a chicken um, along with other food, but mostly it's for chicken that's right on 11 Mile and 696. Um, mm -hmm. It's so interesting to me about this particular restaurant because it's my grandmother's first name and my grandfather's middle name. So I was like, go figure, you know, they're watching over mm -hmm. me in my city. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and, you know, we have some other um, possibilities of, of new um, businesses coming there. I'm not sure on, you know, how that's going to work out, I, I, I guess I'll just leave it there. But I, we have some great things that's coming down um, the pipe. Amen. And we are here with the First Ladies. We're doing a um, Black Wall Street Expo okay. on February the 27th in the city of Lather Village. And so we are excited about not only bringing businesses from all around, from we have businesses from as far as Ghana, West Africa, um, also um, from Atlanta, from Detroit, uh, Romulus, uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, Pontiac, Troy, mm -hmm. yes. So from all the different areas and we're including businesses, of course, in the Lather Village area. So right. so that they can, we can now get to know where these, where our black businesses are so that we can do business with our black businesses. And so we're really excited about bringing that to Lather Village. Well, thank you for uh, having it here. That sounds really exciting. Yes, yes. And uh, and uh, and to along with that also, Mayor Garrett, we're also um, bringing or putting together an international green book. So with that green book, as you may know, and um, or some may know, the Green Book, um, you know, how that used to be because 
back in the 60s, 50s and 60s, you know, we, we, we had to, we couldn't go to certain restaurants. We couldn't, um, if we were driving at night, we, we, we couldn't stop just to go to any hotel because, you know, you just couldn't do it. So you needed to have a map or a road map to what was a friendly black business or a business that would allow black people to um, come to those. So we're create, recreating that. And May, you might want to tell us a little bit more about that. Well, um, it was uh, it has been on my mind for a long time because uh, being um, a child of the 60s, 50s, 60s, we um, we had to find out what towns we could, you know, get gas. We could have lodging, and, and even you know, even when I was uh, traveling in the, on, on the roads, I loved traveling the cars. So it was just you know sundowners time, you know, time for you to get out of town on on certain <clears throat> on certain roads and i like back roads too so um i thought about the green book you know because with all this that's going on with uh, uh black lives and how the police officers target driving while black breathing while black i thought about the green book of us being able to keep our black dollar our dollars black in our communities and that green book was to give us a direction of where we should spend our dollars. And so um, I, I thank God that uh, Valerie, um, who's uh, my visionary who helped me to uh, bring this uh, to pass that we can get a green book up so that we all know where to shop, uh, where to you know stop for gas or, or even hotels and so forth. So uh, this mm -hmm. green book, um, it's going to connect us. We need to start doing networking and building our communities. You know, stop uh, just living in the hoods and become neighborhoods and communities. And uh, just like Southfield Lake, I love being up there. I, I my aunts uh, and my sister-in-laws and all. I have quite a few family members that live in Southfield Lake. So uh, I, I would love for that kind of camaraderie to be all over for us as a, as a community of Black people. So. That green book is going to be, it's, it's a dream book, but it has become a reality for me. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And um, <clears throat> so that we can uh, build our communities again, become whole. The Green Book is also going to talk about history also, so that if, if we have Black history as well as uh, South LA, it is a, <clears throat> we would like to have some of the history of uh, the Black communities or, or the, you know, if you have any um, information about the history, I would love to have some of that, share some of that we have information. History. We have history, but by far it's not black history in Lather Village. Right, I know it wasn't. I know that wait, uh, wait, now, though, isn't wait, it about wait, sixty-one percent right. um, black now? Though it wasn't wait, always. Wait, but wait, right wait, now. I believe that it's like fifty percent, fifty-nine percent. I have to I remember what it is, but yes, you're absolutely right. It wasn't always wait, like. Wait that. a minute. <laughs> exactly. okay. hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. About sixty. About sixty-one percent. I was looking at the demographics, so yes. It, I mean, yeah. I know it wasn't always that way. Wait I'm a minute. Okay. resident myself, so yeah. I know. It. I'm just looking for. I'm excited about the um, the Black Wall Street at, um, uh, Expo because that's something I wanted. Also, is it's time for us to start um, living a dream. Join us at the First Lady Black Wall Street Expo, Sunday, February 27th, 2022, from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the beautiful Lathrop Village Community Center, located at 27400 Southfield Road in Lathrop Village, Michigan. Come out and shop and do business with the new Black Wall Street worldwide businesses in your neighborhood businesses from around the world black businesses hashtag buy black come on out there will be a, a prizes given away there'll be a raffle there's for vending information for raffle tickets contact 
v raspberry or v mayberry at 734-351-1244 or 313-740-2301. Hope to see you there. That's at the First Lady Black Wall Street Expo, Sunday, February 27th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. See you there. You're at Latham Village. And, and I know some people um, think like Highland Park is not Detroit. Latham Village is not Southfield. It's right. its right. own city. Yeah. Right. But, but y'all do got a little history. You, you got Kim in there. I love known black history, you know. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people know that. Yeah, he's lived that far. Absolutely. Uh, I just uh, had to throw that in there. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I find right. it very interesting about the history of um, Lather Village, where um, you know, there's a lot of people that don't like me to repeat that history because it's you know, I I would say that it's a it's a black eye, you know, a considered a black eye on the city, but. To me, um, you also have to look at look at it from a different perspective. You know, this is a woman who um, back in, you know, when she was coming up, it was unheard of having a woman develop you know, a city to be a developer. So, you know, let's take the positives out of some things, you know. <laughs> that's all I have for you with that one. <laughs> <laughs> and absolutely, and yourself, you are, um, you know, I, as I was looking up your information, here it says tough, visionary leader. So yes. just, you know, to have that vision, and, I, and I'm and i being a visionary myself, I know you, you have to have vision for it and plan yes. what you desire to do. As a leader, um, I, I know there are things that you saw that you wanted to have done, and yes. Yes. in order to get it done, sometimes we have to step up and get it done. Do That's it right. ourselves. That's <laughs> right. Don't be afraid or do it. If you are afraid, do it afraid, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. That's one thing about fear. And, you know, I had it, we had an interesting show last week on sickle cell. Um, uh, we had a, actually a, um, one of my colleagues, her grandson was cured of sickle cell. And no one, most people don't even know there's a cure. And I was one of them until I stumbled upon that conversation with her. So well, yeah, that was our show featured for last week. I would have loved to uh, hear that um, because it's a, it's a bone marrow transplant. It's a bone marrow transplant for a sickle cell that can cure them. But the, the thing is, is that not all of the patients can get that. They have to have some type of um, ongoing issues with sickle cell. Unfortunately, I lost my son in October from uh, sickle cell. So mm -hmm. I, uh, and, I- And so many people didn't know, and you know, or mm -hmm. like you say, cause he's, now he had the um, bone marrow transplant successful mm -hmm. as a five-year-old. Yep. And so like you say, some people, and they, they did it really early on yep. um, so that they could um, try to get in front of it before things happen. So, yeah. Well, that's one Thank thing you. about, you know, also, you know, making sure you know who you're electing to, uh, to various seats is because why is sickle cell still a disease that people, Black people are dying from? Um, there's you. not enough, um, there's not enough funding to um, do the research for sickle cell. Um, right. There's not enough um, education around sickle cell. So I applaud you for having mm -hmm. that show last week. And yes. we have um, people in um, you know the hospital settings, which you don't even want me to go down that road about what we have encountered, but because of the person again, the tough visionary leader that comes out in every aspect of my life. Um, yes. But right. you no, know, and I, I had this conversation earlier today. The way that black people are treated, especially if some type of um, underlying uh, disease or illness, mm -hmm. is atrocious, and you need to have Absolutely. somebody that is in um leadership and in position that's going to fight for um you know fight for us and, and fight yeah. for people that are the least of these you know because um, that's mm -hmm. one thing that um it's still disturbing to say so yes i knew about the bone marrow uh, transplant and mm -hmm. um the only unfortunate thing is that one catching it early finding someone that is going to be um a, a match which you know that's yes. my 
his son. So it wasn't where mm -hmm. I could be a match. His dad couldn't be a match. Um, and then also making sure that you are, as a family, put in that position where you're able to be on the list for a, blown, a bone marrow transplant. Because I do wow. recall when he was young, being sick of them too, which is, you know, it was crazy. So I, I, I will actually look, you look that one up because I'll be very interested in hearing that. Absolutely. And, you know, just a, just the tip it, they had a set of twins after him. And oh, that's okay. how they had bone marrow yeah. to match. Yeah. So yeah. like you say, it shouldn't be that way. It should it be, yeah. you know, we should be more apt of, of uh, donating uh, organs and so forth. Yeah. So because these things are, it's for us. And, yes, you know, there should be more research done in this area and more awareness in the area of transplant and don't and organ donation and, 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 and bone blood, bo uh, and blood, blood donation. donation. We're at a very yes. critical level right now, a very low mm -hmm. level, and yes. that we need um, more minority uh, blood donations. Um, because mm -hmm. that's one thing, you know, I'm very grateful to God that we never had to worry about not having enough blood when he had to have trans um, transfusions. But mm -hmm. you don't want that to be you when yeah. they said that we don't have your blood type. So I, I would push mm -hmm. that on your show to make sure that you sign up to be a donor for um, for blood, uh, trans not transfusion, excuse me, blood donations. Yeah. And I won't get into the organ donation because I know that that's taboo among a lot of people, and it, but it's so important, just like what you're saying. Yes. It, and a lot of people are afraid of it, but it is so incredibly important for that too, especially among black people. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. So, and thank you so much for sharing. I, I know that's a sensitive, I see rather, yes. that that's a sensitive that's topic. Sweet. And thank you so much for sharing thank that. Yes. Yes. And um, uh, also, again, and thank you for coming on and, and joining us on today. Also, um, just, uh, you know, sharing, telling us a, a bit about uh, Latham Village. Um, I know um, I've reached out and I've um, come in contact with uh, Susie, who has given me some information mm. on some of their, the Black businesses in the city of Latham yes. Village. Yes. So I'm reaching out to, to those businesses also as we're doing yes. the um, uh, Black Wall Street Expo and also for our Green Book so that okay. we can make it make people aware around it, it's especially around the metropolitan area to, you know, what the businesses that are in Latham Village also, you know, so we can yeah. all. Um, yeah. If you need any help with that or getting in touch with any of the businesses, please uh, let me know. I think that that is actually, you know, that's a fantastic idea. It's not my um, first time of hearing it. I just, I, I support you and applaud you for doing that, bringing thank it back. You. Say yes. also. Thank you so yeah. much. And thank you. Thank you. And, thank you. you know, Go ahead, May. I know you, you have know, a I was just saying thank you. Thank you so much. We we appreciate everything that you're doing for us, um, even coming on our show today. <clears throat> and I'll come and I hope to see you and meet you in person on uh, next Sunday. Um, it's, in my, it's on my calendar, so, you know, I will be there. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, um, we, we have um, uh, First Independence Bank coming out, okay, yeah. good. the Black Bank in the uh, metropolitan Detroit area. I have um, an account also. there, I know. <laughs> yeah, yes. I do have an yeah. account there, so yep, I'm familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and also um, Heritage Vision. Yes, yes. that's so, a friend of the family. <laughs> yes. So we're, we're, we're making sure that, um, you know, we're trying to include, um, you know, we're really working with our, um, Black businesses to make people more aware and, and conscious. Most other cultures, they spend their dollars first with each other. It's, it's time for us to start um, living the dream. There's a sense of freedom in the air, unlike other days, unlike other nights, unlike other years.
during Black History Month. Any, any, anything in particular you'd like to share with our audience? Well, one thing is to, um, I, I love that you all are doing this, especially with the Green Book. Um, I think that is very important that we um, teach our children and, and our children's children uh, about our history. Um, I think that uh, just, you know, knowing about the critical race theory, it is interesting to me that, you know, there's so many people that are against it when in fact it's not where it, you're not trying to down any other races, trying to show you what all races, all, all people have come through to make uh, America what it is today. I, I really believe in history and knowing where you came from so you know where you can go. Yes. And that oh, yeah. if you don't know where you came from, you're bound to repeat some things that you don't want to uh, repeat. Um, the one thing about uh, Lather Village it is the epitome of um, the civil rights movement to me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, um, it is um, an honor and I'm very uh, happy to be at the you know helm of this. And it's just, it's an interesting um, daily fight of being um, yes. the first black uh, mayor of a, of a small city. And, you know, I also tell people be careful of wanting to be the first of something because you know, they're looking to you to either be the, you know, like I think about Obama, he had to be the savior. Right. Do wrong. We're gonna pull it on it because he has no. You had no. Um. You know, no mis test before that. You don't anyone else that you can look to. Right. But you know, I, I I'm, I'm up to that challenge, and um, I love um, running the city or and being a part of the city. We have some fabulous um, people that's here, and even the people that dislike me, I still enjoy talking to them because that's entertaining to me. <laughs> Amen. Right, right. Amen. <laughs> and, you, and you have to be able to tackle those conversations too. Oh, like absolutely. Yeah, I like yeah, to absolutely. know. You know, you also want to know, you know, what uh, people don't like about you. You know, if everybody likes you, then you have a problem. You haven't done right, something right. right. So I feel like I'm doing something right. <laughs> yeah. so, I, just, I really appreciate you all um, having me, and I really am looking forward to uh, coming to the event on the 27th. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's speaking of the Black Wall Street Expo that will be held in the city of Latham Village on Sunday, February the 27th at the um, Latham Village uh, Civic uh, City Hall Community. Community Center. So come on out. That's 27400 Southfield Road and uh, in the fair city of uh, Lathrop Village. And thank you so much for joining us on today, Mayor Garrett. It is certainly a pleasure. I know you have a busy day in front of you. Uh, and, and it's the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. 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 Well, I appreciate it again so much for having me. I'm glad that we connected and I will be in touch with you very soon. All right. Very um, good. Very thank good. you. Thank you. God bless you. We love you. Yeah. Thank you, you so much, Karen. We you. love you and you have a wonderful and blessed day and wish you well with everything. Look forward to seeing you on next Sunday. Yeah, next Sunday, we, uh, four Thank until you. seven, we'll be there. All right. Thank you. you time. I'll be there. Thank you, lady. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, what a wonderful Thanks. conversation. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it, God. Yes. Amen. So, a, a history making moment here. We mm -hmm. hey, we're gonna get the first dibs on that. Yes. Yes. Hey, yes. <laughs> hey, we, we always got time for uh, uh, to help someone with their campaign. Come on back and let's talk about it, and let's so people can know about it, read about it, talk about mm -hmm. it. That's yeah. wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. God bless you. I think she's you gonna look do so like cute um, today. Pardon me. I said you look so cute today. You just oh, thank you. I thought I'd do a little African kind of little African outfit, do a little head yeah. gear. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm not usually one to wear hats and stuff, but I I thought that might be cute. <laughs> all righty, all righty. Yes. <laughs> so that African is after, absolutely good. Uh, well, we thank God for. 
Black Wall Street Expo next week on Sunday from four to seven. Gotta be there. We got our mayor, the mayor of South Lathrop will be in the house. We got a live band. So we have people to entertain you, talk to you. Uh, we got information stations so that you can get some information or, about uh, starting your businesses and uh, grants and loans and LLCs and 501c3s and hey. Oh yeah, we, yes. we have, a, a we, we have to. We, we're, we're bringing it to you, and we're hey. we're thanking all of you for coming and joining us as we share this information. Hey. We're rebuilding yeah. Black Wall Street it's globally. We're yeah, building, okay. rebuilding it's Black Wall Street warm. and it's streaming across the waters and across the land. I'll so tell you. we are excited about that. Yes, yeah. we're going to, and it's absolutely free. Come on absolutely. out and join us. It you know, doesn't cost you the diamond to get in the door so you can get this information, wealth of information. We got a black bank. We got first independent bank in the house. Heritage Optical is in the house. So come on out, get you some information. Know where you can get your glasses at now. And, uh, you know, hey, as, yeah. well, as well as where to bank. And yeah. we're going to see... The, She's going to talk about loans and things like that. You got to, we, we have to invest in our own. We have to start making our black dollars count. Now that we know better, we, we need we have to, to do, do better. better. Come on, sister. Say it. Say it. We love you. Say it. And we're come on out to the First Lady Black Wall Street Expo. I'm telling this you. Is you on need Saturday, to. Sunday, next Sunday, Sunday February 27th, yes. from 4 to 7 p.m. out in Lather Village at the Lather Village, Village City Hall on two, at 27400 Southfield Road. That's 27400 Southfield Road, right between 11 and 12 Mile Road there. Um, closer to 11 mile road and uh right there you see right between those two flags on, on that uh right side right. of mm -hmm. southfield road you can't yep. miss it see All that? right mm -hmm. four <laughs> until seven o'clock we're gonna be there yeah. four until seven with live yeah. music and everything That green book will talk about history as well as, you know, we're going to instill history so that we, we like uh, the mayor said, we die. You know, we, we're, we're dying from the lack of not knowing our history. You know what I'm saying? Um, if it's, it's, it's going to repeat itself if we don't do anything to change the narrative of our history. You know what I'm saying? And, and the time for change, change. is now. now. Because we're we're in the, the atmosphere is in the change mode oh. this is the time to do it this is the time for reparations this is the time for um systemic racism to be stamped out this is the time to we do it all these things you cannot that, sit on these things we have the majority vote go out make sure that we participate in voting and and make sure we make these changes and ride this wave Right this I'm wave of change. If, if right this wave of change. Yes. So and if I'm you, just uh, so excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you know anybody who needs to be registered to vote, we're going to have people out there doing registration. Yes. So come out there and uh, get those people out there to register. Say, hey, they, they're doing registration up there in, in uh, South LA through. And yes. you can join in and get those young people registered. Talk about it. We need to be about it be about our business of, of making sure that our votes do count, that Amen. you are counted. Do you know I, I, how many of our ancestors, that could be your grandmother you could or your grand, great grandfather. It's, it's not too far away that those, those people die just about, we're talking about the sixties. The sixties wasn't that long ago that they were still murdering people in the sixties. We're no longer accepting crumbs from the table. We are 
pulling up a seat to the table. That's right. And entering into the discussion and helping to form the new laws that need to be um, made. We, so we, we are we, not sitting back. We are making things happen. We are being a part of the change. We are being the change that we want. That is see. so true. We love you and we thank God for you. See you again next Saturday, every Saturday from 12 noon to 2 p.m. for the First yes. Lady. Show. Thank you, God. Have a wonderful and blessed week. God bless. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye. There's a pledge for a flag and an anthem for our country too. But what we all need is a universal prayer for one love for me and you. Why do we wait for tragedy to unite us? Then we march, take a stand, and cry out for peace to guide us. Why don't we all let love bind us? And then we will all live the way we were meant to be. When did we become a world of only myself, I, and me? Loving our treasures more than allowing man to be free. How did we become so blind? We can't see that together we can all live in peace and harmony. We behave as if we are better than another, as if race, religion, and status makes one grand. But we all have the same plight amongst us. Birth and death are what unites us. We need one song, one prayer, one voice, one love. We need love.